Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to load preset scans into SignalHound Spike software used to control the USB SA44B Spectrum Analyzer. I'm getting ready to take this unit to the field this weekend at the retreat location in West Virginia and thought I'd load some presets of interest to amateur radio and emergency communications in general. The presets are entered in the upper left hand corner. Here's the menu for presets. You can load presets 1 through 9 and then you can rename them. The first preset we're going to load is for the 2 meter amateur radio band. I have this PDF file with the AWRL's band plan. Here's the 2 meter band, 144 megahertz to 148, so that's what we're going to load. And what we want to do is set the start of the scan at the beginning of that band and the stop at the end. So the start's here, the stop is here, we're going to start. 144 megahertz, hit enter. And we're going to hit stop at 148 megahertz and hit enter. Our reference level is typical. We may have to adjust that once we get to the field, but now we're scanning the entire 2 meter amateur radio band from 144 to 148. So we're going to load this preset into preset 1. Preset, save, preset 1. Now we'll come to preset, rename preset 1 to 2 meter band. We'll hit OK. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate how that works real quick. We'll go ahead and hit this preset reset the unit. The units come back up after being reset. We'll come over here to preset, load, 2 meter band, and now we're scanning the 2 meter amateur radio band. The next preset I want to load is the family radio service or FRS. So I have the FCC website pulled up here. It starts at 462.5625 and ends at 467.7125. For the bottom half, we're going to round down. For the top half, we're going to round up. Now, I'm going to enter the higher frequency first because we're scanning left to right. So it'll only accept that if I put the higher number in first. So we're going to put the first number in as 467.725. We'll come over to spike. 467.7250 megahertz. We'll hit enter. We'll come back over to the website. 462, I'm going to put 500, 462.500 megahertz, hit enter, and now we're scanning the FRS band. We even have a hit right there. we got some transmissions taking place. So that's the FRS band. We're going to load that into a preset, save, preset 2, rename, preset 2, FRS. The next one I want to load is GMRS. I've already pulled that up. And they're very similar, but we're going to go through it anyway. That's going to start at 462.550. I'll make that 500. And it ends at 467.725. I'll say 467.750. So we'll come up here. 467.750 megahertz. We'll hit the lower frequency. We'll round down 462.500. 400 megahertz, hit enter. Now we have the GMRS band. We'll come to presets, save, preset 3, rename, preset 3, GMRS. We'll hit save. Now I want to do the MERS band. We'll pull that information up from the FCC website. 151, 820, 154, 600. So we'll do 151. 800, that's where we'll start, 151.800 megahertz, and we're going to stop that span at 154.600, 154.600 megahertz, hit enter, now we're scanning the MERS band, we'll go ahead and load that preset into the system, save, preset 4, preset 4, rename it, MERS. So now I have the most common bands that would be of interest to amateur radio and emergency preparedness in general. I could take this unit out to the field, fire it up, and load any one of these presets. We'll do one more demonstration. We'll hit the big green preset button that reboots the system to its initial state. The system's rebooted. We're doing a full span from the beginning of its capability, 100 kilohertz, to the end at 4.4 gig. But now we're out in the field and we want to see what kind of 2 meter activity we have in our area. Preset, load, 2 meter band.
there you have it. You want to see what's happening in that area, keep track of it, add a second trace, set it to max hold, and each time there's a transmission, it'll pop up and hold it with the red line. We just picked one up there. If it's a signal of interest, go ahead and throw a marker on it. And now you kind of know what the frequency is. Let's say you're not interested in 2 meter. You want to know what's happening in the, the MERS band. Go to Preset, Load, MERS. Again, you can take another trace, max hold, and each time there's a transmission, the red line will be held to show you where that transmission took place. You can throw a marker on them, move them along, and see what those frequencies are by coming up here. So now let's say you want to see what's happening in the FRS spectrum. Come to Presets, hit Load, FRS, and now we're sweeping the FRS band. Again, we can put a second trace on there, do max hold, and each time a radio transmits, we'll get a red line that holds it here. And if there's a signal of interest here, you want to know what the frequency is, you can go ahead and place a marker on it and it'll tell you what the frequency is here. We have it locked to the second trace, 463, 7379, probably 750. You want to see what's next to it, you can go peak left and that marker will move along. You can also throw more than one marker on there. Peak search, now you have multiple markers and the frequencies show up here. So anyway, that's just a short video to show you how to load presets into SignalHound Spike software when controlling the USB SA44B Spectrum Analyzer. I'm looking forward to getting this out in the field. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with another SignalHound Spike software video. Thanks for watching, guys.